Hello, and thanks for tuning in to Trash Panda Garage. In the most recent episode of our 2021 Ford Bronco-inspired Isuzu Amigo budget build, we removed the factory front bumper from the Isuzu to make room for a custom-fabricated winch bumper. One feature that we had incorporated into our custom winch bumper was a couple of tabs to mount some 3-inch LED cube lights. Now, up until now, I hadn't really made a final decision regarding which brand or model of LED cube light we would buy. But as luck would have it, I was walking through our local harbor freight store and discovered that they had their road shock three inch cube led floodlights on sale now before i made the decision to pick these lights up i did what a lot of people do i hopped on youtube to see if there were any video reviews of the road shock three inch lights I did find a couple of review videos, and within one of those videos, I found someone who left a comment comparing the Harbor Freight Road Shock lights to the Quadratech Radius 3-inch LED cube lights. The person who left this comment appeared to be under the impression that the Harbor Freight lights were the same as the Quadratech lights, which they're not. But they did point out that Quadratech sells some light covers that will fit onto their Radius lights. Now, if you look at the photos on both the Harbor Freight and Quadratech website, it does appear that these lights utilize the same exact housing. So I went back to Harbor Freight and picked up the road chalk lights where they were still on sale. And then I also ordered up a set of the amber lens covers from Quadratech and had them shipped to my house. Now, before we get too far, let's do a quick unboxing of the road chalk lights. Here you can see that they come with an instruction manual and a feature that I really appreciate, which is a couple of pigtails that you can wire into your own wiring harness or a road shock specific switch and relay kit that Harbor Freight also sells. Uh, as you can see here, these covers clearly fit the Harbor Freight lights. They snap into place and it doesn't look like they're coming loose unless you pry them off. When I removed the OEM bumper from our Isuzu Amigo, I just cut the wiring harnesses that led to the factory halogen fog lights. Now for the sake of simplicity, I just decided to reuse the factory fog light wiring harness. Since these two floodlights are rated at 50 watts for the pair, I popped the hood on the Amigo and removed the 15 amp fuse that was used for the factory halogen fog lights and replaced them with a 10 amp fuse per the chart on the Harbor Freight website. In this shot, you can see where I spliced the road shock pigtails into the Isuzu's factory harness, utilizing some butt connectors and some heat shrink tube. I'll get these cleaned up with some plastic wire wrap before I'm done. Now, in my case, the Isuzu's low beams actually trigger the relay for the fog light switch. So I have to have the low beams on before I can activate the road shock lights seen here. The road shock cube lights have an output rating of 2,120 lumens, which you can see here in all white light, no lens cover attached. In this next shot, I applied the amber lens covers from Quadratech, and you can see it changes the tone of the light quite a bit. I know a lot of people prefer the amber lighting because it minimizes reflection off of dust and other particles in the air, so having the ability to switch these over to a different color tone with the lens covers is a pretty nice touch. That's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions about these lights or the lens covers from Quadratech, leave me a question below in the comments section. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in to Trash Panda Garage.